Hello to all of my Aquarius. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. Aquarius, this reading is for the 13th of September through the 13th of October. So the moon is moving from Leo into Virgo. We're going to kick off with a new moon in Virgo on the 14th. So the 13th is the last day for that moon that uh, waning crescent moon phase before we dip on into a new moon, a new you. And guess what? The beautiful thing about moving through these moon phases, Aquarius, is that a moon in Virgo, Virgo is a very meticulous zodiac sign. It's a mutable sign. It's an earth sign. It's going to remind you that you're whole just as you are. Um, a moon in Virgo asks all of us to be of service um, but not just from a grounded, it has to come from a grounded space, you know, not from a sense of lack or need for validation, but from a place of empowerment and true embodiment, right? Which I don't think you all will have a problem doing that at all. It's just leading up to that as you're closing out cycle. So it looks like somebody is definitely, has definitely finished strong, you know, and decided, hey, you know, when we got to that 10th of the month, I mean, the 9th of the month, that 9-9, nine, nine, when somebody says, I need to close out, uh, I need to close out two cycles, airtight, you know, in order for me to make my powerful transformation moving forward, um, that moon was in Cancer, and then on the 10th, it moved from Cancer into Leo, so not only did you say, in some spaces, I don't feel nurtured, protected, and secure, in other people's universe or multiverse, right? Um, but I'm not getting the feedback, the acknowledgement that my, my efforts are even appreciated. So that really helps somebody to move, you know, into, you know, you gave people a couple of days to just acknowledge, you know, just how, um, uh, just how much they appreciate you. Right. So again, closing out cycles don't really, doesn't have to be traumatic or dramatic, right? It's just, just, just letting people know it's just a matter of communication, right? Matter of communication with people that you love. Hey, I love you, but I need to pull back in certain areas of my life so I can start focusing primarily on myself, right? So here we go. Let's see what your cards have to say, Aquarius. All right, here we have High Priestess Energy. We have the Chariot card, we have the World card, the Devil card, the Magician card, and also the Ace of Wands, right? High Priestess Energy, we also have the Chariot card, we also have the Devil card, we also have the Magician card, we also have the World card. So it looks like somebody's definitely gotten real serious about closing out cycles with fear, doubt, uncertainty, and that's what you're being rewarded uh, with sources saying you're being rewarded because you are closing out cycles and you're moving forward. But you know, what's interesting about this though, Aquarius is, you know, your high priestess energy, the psychic abilities, the, um, all the clairs, clairvoyance, claircognizance, clairsentience, clairaudience, all these messages coming through to you all about it's okay. Matter of fact, that's why I talk about when we're moving through these phases to make sure that you are properly nurtured. Only you know how you, to nurture yourself based on your birth chart, right? And I see your third eye is wide open about situations. It, a lot of it is, again, if you go into situations sending out messages of stress and anxiety, you know, I don't know how I'm going to say this to this person. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know how I'm going to close out this. If they say this, then I'm going to say that. If you go into it like that, then you can almost expect what you put out into the universe is going to come back to you. But if you go into closing out cycles and saying, I'm going, I'm, I'm closing out cycles in love and you're leading with love and you're saying, these are the things, no matter what you're doing, this, this is what I these are the things that I see the growth in energies when you're closing out cycles. These are the things that I see in you. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure that you can do this on your own. When you're closing out cycles in love that way, people feel empowered. Like I can do this. I do feel like, okay, the world is not against me. It's not stacked up against me, that kind of thing. So that's what I'm seeing for you all, Aquarius. So I do see you close out a cycle successfully and sources actually rewarding you for that. So it's not luck. We got six planets that are currently retrograde. Five of those planets are outer planets, right? And so you're breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. So but for somebody, that could mean, you know, 
you could have had a you could have been used to traumatic endings of cycles where you just left under duress or there had to be some big argument or some big traumatic or dramatic event before you close out cycles in your love life, friendships, family relationships, jobs, whatever. But somebody has gotten to a point, hey, coming in quietly and leaving quietly. Right. So and that's what that's what some people I, I, I suspect that some of you all have already done that in some areas of your life where it may have shocked people who may have heard negative things about you, Aquarius. But then you just just leave like a smooth breeze. You're not causing any you're not kicking up any dust. No, none of that. Just moving on with your life. And that's why you keep being rewarded for you know, how you close out cycles. So here we have the five of swords. Here we have the six of swords, the eight of swords, the princes of pentacles. The two of pentacles and the seven of pentacles. It's harvest time for you all. And another another stream of income is going to come across somebody's path. Something possibly having to do with music or something music related, right? Whether it's coming from you or somebody else bringing additional money into your life because of that. Or you're not having to pay for as much stuff. Somehow music is playing a role in it, right? So somebody could say, hey, I'm, I'm taking this bill off of your hand and that's less money for you to put out and therefore that's more money in your pocket, right? But don't overthink it. Don't keep replaying the past over and over and over again. Don't keep replaying the past over and over again because I see like the way you're closing out cycles is that people actually feel empowered. This is the power of your thinking ahead, Aquarius. Remember I said you all are light years ahead of people, but when you're thinking ahead and you're leading with love and not leading with frustration, I'm replaying the past over and over and over again. They did this, they did that. And if they say this, when I close it out, then I'm going to say that. So it's just say you don't need to do all of that. You could be disappointed, but I see you dry, you, you sailing away from the disappointment. That's what I'm seeing for you all entering into a season of abundance and prosperity. So I don't see you overthinking it anymore. Again, you don't need them to validate. You are thinking ahead. You're saying, I see greatness in you. Um, um, you know, you're, you're intentionally picking and choosing the good thing. These are loved ones. You're intentionally picking out the things that you're, you're noticing in them. Not that they need you to validate them either. It goes both ways, but people like positive reinforcement and that's where the moon and Leo comes in, right? People like that positive reinforcement. Like, you know, I, I do feel nurtured. I feel protected. I feel secure in Aquarius's space, you know, but I also feel empowered. Like I can do it. I, I'm getting my solar plexus chakra in alignment and here you are sitting handsome or sitting pretty and more money is coming across your path. So hopefully that makes sense to somebody because that's what's happening Aquarius. So congratulations to you all. Like I said, you are being rewarded for how you're closing out cycles. Yeah. You get a lot more accomplished when you leave. I mean, and again, this is, um, this is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. Not only am I talking to you if your sun sign Aquari is Aquarius, but I'm talking to you if you have Aquarius anywhere in your birth chart. Um, including if you're on the cusp of Capricorn or on the cusp of Pisces or Aquarius is your MC or IC. I speak to your entire birth chart. I'm talking to you. Again, how you close out cycles is going to make all the difference in the world. I do see somebody making room for love coming across your path, if that's what you want, and possibly marriage coming across your path. And somebody kind of is kind of feeling that as well. Again, if that's not what you want, marriage could be either in business or in love. So, you know, it's some kind of contractual agreement between you and somebody else. And, you know, again, it could be business. Somebody could be contract, you know, hiring you for something. Again, that can be a marriage as well. Here we have the four of pentacles. We have the queen of pentacles, the six of pentacles, the death card, the nine of wands, and also the three of wands. So something is definitely over. You're definitely on the other side of a long and arduous journey. And, um, and, you know, instead of you mourning something, I want you to do, you know, like you hear celebration of life, right? Instead of mourning the end of something, celebrate your life, the life to come, Aquarius, right? In this space right here, now that you're in the light about situations that you've just come out of some darkness in, which could have called you, called you back into something that's like, oh gosh, here we go again. I'm having to have this same conversation again. Have the conversation, but stay in your light and keep on moving forward, right? Again, nine, the number of transformation. And then three right here, you were born to inspire. So wherever you're going, you're going to be inspiring a lot of people and you're going to see it in your money. Your reputation is definitely intact. You're going to start seeing how people respond to you all Aquarius too. Like to see this white rabbit right here. Somebody has done some quantum, quantum leap into their own future. And you can already 
see how people respond to you. This energy is magnetic. It's, it's feminine energy. It's magnetic money. Um, and people are drawn to that. And remember, it's rooted rooted and grounded in our relationship um, with other human beings. So source says, don't overthink this. Just develop, you know, calm yourselves down, you know, drink your water, do things that nurture you. You know, it doesn't have to cost a whole lot of money to go take a, you know, walk in the, in the park, you know, hug a tree, those kind of things. Um, Virgo, Virgo moon, because it's such a meticulous zodiac sign, it likes checking off boxes. Like, for instance, if you're thinking about your future, you're thinking about, hey, taking a leap of faith, going somewhere, how would that look like for you all, Aquarius? Like, let's say, for instance, when you've moved, like if you move from your parents' house into your new apartment or your new home or whatever, or you move from one desk in your office to the next desk or another, whatever, you actually planned out, you planned out some things, right? So... You are, this is why relationships are so important because I see where you're going, the energy of money being so attracted to you is really, really not funny, Aquarius. And there's approvals coming to you left and right. So how you close out cycles all the way around is going to make a difference between you celebrating your new life and things that you left in the past, how you left things in the past, if that makes sense to somebody. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. So approval is here. Like I said, an additional stream of income um, is also here. You know, so um, there's just so many. I mean, when I see just the the expansion your way coming your way, Aquarius, and just again, I, and I don't want to. I don't mean to sound redundant here, but I'm telling it's, it makes all the difference in the world in how you close out cycles. People can say what they want to say about you, Aquarius. They can say that you're insecure because I'm really looking at a lot of this money here, that you're insecure, that you're unstable, mentally and physically unstable. They can say that you're impatient. They can say whatever they want to, but the way, because source has already approved you for wealth coming your way, none of what people in your past, well, none of what they have said or what they're currently saying is going to matter to you at all, because I don't see you overthinking and unless you look back and you keep replaying it over and over and over again. So I do see you picking up those two swords and deciding, hey, I'm balancing myself out and I'm leaving that behind. Here we have the five of spades. Here we have the ace of hearts, the two of spades. We also have the four of um, clubs, all the six of hearts and also the eight of spades. So source is saying ace of spades came out twice. If you try to, if you try to overthink two situations in your life, it would literally drive you crazy. Source is saying six of hearts. Um, source is saying to you, operate in childlike faith moving forward. Just learn how to protect your emotions, protect your emotions, protect your money, um, protect your creativity, protect all of those things. Here we also have the five of spades and also the two of spades. Source is saying every time you look back, you know, at certain things in your past, as far as loved ones are concerned, it causes you to look hostile. Even if you're saying it in a light, you know, the most lighthearted way, you know, you're going to have to like some things you're going to have to look at it as like, I'm going to have to laugh to keep from crying or getting upset about it for real. Just like the cycle is airtight. I'm, cl I'm closing it out airtight and I'm moving on here. We also have the two, uh, a space right here. I may have had on blindfolds before. Maybe I didn't want to see certain things, but my blindfolds are off. Now I see all this, these opportunities coming my way. And then we also have the four of clubs. You're going to feel like a huge weight has just been lifted off of your shoulders for real. That's what somebody's going to feel like. It's like a huge weight has been lifted off of my shoulders. I don't know why it took me so long to even make a decision about some things as I'm moving into this new a phase of my life. And that's what I'm seeing. You know, the the demons that call you call you backwards this invitation right here that's calling you back it's not a person it's not a person it's not a place a thing it is your lowest your lowest self your fear your doubt your your uncertainty about your own future about taking a leap of faith into your own future and so i see somebody doing that i see somebody taking a leap of faith into their own future so this is nice, very nice, Aquarius. Here we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Nine of Wands, we have the Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the King of Cups, and also the Eight of Cups, right? Uh-huh. So I see you tossing some things into a burning bowl and staying in your light. Again, the, the depth of emotion that you had about something, 
when you were unclear, it was like a person was emotionally drowning in an ocean. Like I can't, I can't make a decision. I don't know what emotionally I'm all over the place, but because you've decided to toss fear, doubt, uncertainty, whatever your demons are into that and decided, Hey, I need to get back on my throne of emotions, King of emotions and use my wisdom. I know when I need time to kind of sort of calm myself down. Here we have the, the Ten of Cups and also the Ace of Cups. I see you again protecting your creativity, protecting your emotions, protecting your um, sensuality, your sexuality, also protecting your creativity, right? And I do see this right here. You're sitting on a rainbow or your inner child feel at peace. This is your divine masculine to your divine feminine. This is your inner child. I see you feeling like you're at peace. Again, we also have the um, nine of wands came out twice. Somebody, like I said, is at the end of burnout. You're at the end of burnout. Like somebody is literally like tired of, has, and, and I'm, I'm putting, trying to put it as a positive spin on this as possible because you've gotten to a point, like you said, I'm letting go and I'm letting source, you know, take care of a situation. If people are still lost and trying to figure things out, I don't have to be the guide. I don't have to hang around and just miss chunks of my life, you know, waiting for people to get it together. So here we have the four of pentacles. So it's, it's reiterating again, no more overthinking it. No more overthinking it. It's time for you to travel. It's time for you to live your life, Aquarius. You know, you know, you know, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> All of those things, Aquarius. This is very nice, very nice, very nice. So... Um, a moon in Virgo, as we're coming up on this new moon in Virgo on the 14th, is just, again, reminding all of us to know the importance of self-care and well-being that comes from connecting daily with Mother Earth in whichever way feels best to you, right? That means taking your shoes off and doing some grounding, hugging a tree, taking a hike, sitting out on your balcony, your porch. It's just like getting rooted and grounded, right? That's what Source is trying to tell somebody. So I do see somebody possibly purchasing property or property or moving somewhere. And, you know, again, getting rooted and grounded, getting settled in. That's what I'm seeing for you. Here we also have the Queen of Swords. We also have the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Swords. Again, the Ace of Wands, the Fold card, and the Emperor card, right? So, so a lot of initiation here, lots of initiation here, like a lot of um, you taking the first steps in some things. I'm saying the, um, the eight of swords came out three times. So it's three situations in particular where somebody may have been overthinking some things. And also there's some people too, who you, when you left, okay, let me, let me slow down for a second. Let me, let me make sure we get these cards here. So we have the full card. Somebody no longer feels like a fool. Somebody feels like, you know, I've closed out cycles airtight. Um, I feel changed. I feel liberated. I feel free. Remember, both of your ruling planets, Saturn and Uranus, are retrograde right now. Somebody got real serious about some things. There's definitely some energies and, and things are going to be moving along quite fast for you. You know, breakthrough happening for you, right? Breakthrough does feel like a breakdown. There could be somebody from your past that could have had a nervous breakdown, Aquarius. They literally could have felt like, they literally could have felt like with you, Aquarius, I don't know why Aquarius closed out a cycle with me. There could have been some misunderstanding. I'm not really sure what I said or did, you know, for Aquarius to just abruptly close out a cycle. But see, The more and more you start like paying attention to spirits, Aquarius, the more and more it'll make sense to you how some people need this dramatic or traumatic closing to something. Like I, I when I, one of the feelings that I'm getting is that somebody may have known somebody lied about something and you closed out something so quietly by the time the dust really settled. That's just how much chaos and confusion was going on around somebody that, you know, a loved one. By the time that the dust settled and they realized, you know how a person finally realizes that you left? And it could be, you know, let's say for instance, it was like a whole lot of people at a house party or whatever. Like maybe maybe you went to somebody else's universe and they have they have, they got a lot of stuff going on. They got a lot of stuff going on in their personal life, a lot of stuff going on in their per, uh, professional life, just a whole bunch of stuff going on. And you said goodbye, right? You said goodbye, just, you know, either waved across the room or mouth to them, hey, I'm about to leave, you know, I'm tired, you know, basically I'm just emotionally drained, I'm tired. A lot of things came out of this nine of wands situation, right? I'm emotionally drained, I'm tired, I need to move forward. 
you know, this isn't, this just isn't for me. And source is saying, get the heck away from that kind of energy before you get burned out. Like you could, like a narcissist, like they're so busy trying to pull from this source, this resource and this resource and this resource, instead of looking at source within, by the time they look up and see that you're gone, Aquarius, all of a sudden, well, has anybody talked to Aquarius? And people are like, oh yeah, Aquarius left years ago. Like Aquarius left, you know, like a person would say, yeah, I saw it when they walked out the door. I saw it when they, they moved on with their life. I saw it when they decided to move on. Well, did they say anything? I mean, was that, were they upset? Were they mad? Mm, no, nope. you know, because people who are used to drama are used to people ending stuff with them like that, cussing them out, going off, trying to fight them, all of that. But the way you left was such like a quiet, like, a, you know what, I've seen this one too many times and I need to move on from this. And there are some people who are still, like I said, for them, you know, they're like, oh my God, they literally is driving them crazy. I can't figure out for the life of me. And you may have, I'm trying to tell you, see, when you were an overgiver Aquarius, that's, that's, part, that's part of the role it actually plays in it. But you having a breakthrough, you know, they're going to have a breakthrough like you had a breakthrough. Your breakthrough was, like I said, quiet. It's like, okay, quietly realizing that, you know what? This person needs way too much attention, too much energy in order to close out cycles. And that's just not, I'm not on that frequency anymore. I'm on a frequency of peace, love, closing out cycles in that kind of way. And they got all this chaos and confusion going on around them. So like I said, for some people, this definitely feeling some kind of way. So you moving on. For some of you all, it's literally relocating somewhere, you know, where people are just like in shock, like, wait a minute, how come I didn't find this out? How come nobody told me? When did all of this happen? I mean, and this literally could be years later. That's how much chaos and confusion some people have in their universe, Aquarius, that it literally can be years later before they look up and realize you gone for good. It's literally like it was a death. Like you never coming back. That's how some of your exes are starting to feel now. Because again, when we talk about nine of wands, we got nine of wands twice. That could have been at least 18 situations and one in eight is nine that you finally decided, I am completely done with all of that. See, it's, it, when you're stumbling around in the darkness and you look confused, you're reaching for this person, reaching for that person. Let's go back to the analogy of like a, a, a house celebration. You at somebody else's house and you're like, where is, where is, um, let's just, let's call them nine since it's done, right? Where, where is nine? Where, where did, um, where is nine? I've been looking for nine. I'm just trying to let them know that I'm about to leave. I'm, I've been looking for no, like you, t I'm telling this person, telling that person, where's number nine? Oh, number nine is in the back screaming to the top of their lungs, hollering and all, I mean, just chaos, just chaos and confusion. You're like, you know what? I've seen that one too many times. I'm about to get into a fight with somebody, just chaos. You said, you know what? Or, or, under some kind of influence or whatever is going on, you know that they're crying out for help. But again, it's time for you to, it was time for you to step into your light. So like I said before, here we have the two, we have one, we have reverse. Um, and then also two, one, two. All right. All right. Here we go. Two green. We talk about the heart chakra, right? So as far as relationships are concerned, people know that your your um people know that your heart is in the right place. Like that's why that's why and then of course we got this right here, this um throat chakra right here, right? You've communicated things with people and people know that you are independent, that your heart is in the right place and they see how hard, how happy your heart is when you know that you can exist on your own Aquarius. Like they know that you're a good person, that you're a giver. Um, that your heart is in the right place, that you're a forgiving person, a loving person. And that's why it's throwing somebody in particular, one person in particular off that they cannot believe that, okay, Aquarius is a forgiving person. They're a loving person. There has to be something going on. It literally is not registering with some people that you are tired of them. Like you're tired of their stuff. But that's not that's not your hill to climb anymore. It really isn't your hill to climb. You don't even have anything negative to say about them. They are telling people that you'll be back. They're telling people that you'll be back. Like, you've already said, I ain't going back. I know I can stand on my own, and I am standing on my own. I know that I'm born to inspire, and I'm taking action to do that. My number eight is in line. I have a clear... Um, I have, a, I have my, my marching papers. I know I'm moving forward, so going back to what? The only way you be going back is in memory to like say, God, thank you. I'm, I'm away from that. 
I'm away from that. Like I said, eight of wands right here. You know, three of wands, somebody's looking to their future. You got ace of wands right here. Your third eye is wide open about some energies. Like I said, three of wands, somebody is double looking forward to their future. Somebody is definitely not going back. Accepting your memories, eight of wands came out twice. And people are still, you know, from the ages of zero and seven, you know, still talking about relationship stuff. But again, you are in such firm relationship with yourselves, Aquarius, that again, like I said, you know, um, moving forward, moving forward, moving forward. You're not looking for that validation anymore. You're not looking for that validation at all anymore. So this is, again, an additional stream of income for somebody at your root. So it's just saying, I got, I got so many creative ideas for you that I've already approved for you, Aquarius, to make additional streams of income. It's just really not even, it's really not even funny, you know, just the approvals that's coming from source. Here we have deepening. Once on, I'm looking at this cat, you know, the little cat, the meme that's on social media now, <laughs> the funny memes, deepening. Once you're on earth for enough lifetimes, your old soul will begin to long for non-grasping, detachment, and surrender. They bring the peace of God. Yeah. Somebody is really, really missing you. Somebody is really, really missing I want to say kind of like the old you, the person that was like an overthinker, a person that keep giving people chance after chance after chance after chance, Aquarius, but you're not in that headspace anymore. And that person is gone. It's like you unzipping that suit of being an overgiver, overthinker, over whatever. And that suit is gone. It was tossed into the fire, literally tossed into the fire. Where was that card? Where was the card? Tossed into the fire. You're not looking for people to nurture you, make you feel protected or secure in their universe anymore. You know, you, that's what I'm saying. Like, imagine somebody inviting you to their house party and you trying to tell them that you leave it and they cussing people out and fighting and, and they such an uproar, you know, just that energy, like pay attention to me, pay attention. I'll do anything for some attention kind of energy. And you just quietly just walk on out the door and never look back. You don't even turn your head to the side for a second. You just keep on moving forward. Like I've seen this, I've seen this so many times. I'm just done with it. Pegasus, this kid, this car keeps coming out for you all. Further reiterating, number three, born to inspire, right? Break free, dear one. Spread wide and far, for you aren't containable. You are limitless. So welcome to the other side, Aquarius. You close out this cycle strong. But guess what? This time you close it out really in love. Like, that has to be a good feeling for somebody to say, I actually close it out in love. I'm not angry with anybody. I said what I needed to say to whomever needed to hear it. You know, I, I made peace with some things, and I'm, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I'm putting some things in order. The answers you need are coming. Yep. Gemini's ruling planet. Mercury is retrograde. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, um, you know, like I said before, you made peace with whoever you needed to make peace with. If other people was acting crazy and out of control, you know, looking for attention here and there for whatever reason, for whatever reason, um, and they didn't see when you left out of their life, you decided to move on. Yeah, you decided to move on. Mercury, um, Gemini, and Virgo's ruling planet, speaking of which, it was retrograde until the 15th of September, right? But then it goes post-shadow retrograde until the 30th of the month, right? So you had to slow down to catch these messages, and things are coming up. Also, too, there's somebody, there's a... Um, there's possibly a message about a Scorpio as well for you all Aquarius that, ooh, this is interesting. There could be a Scorpio that is um, now trying to be a little bit more assertive. Like, you know how sometimes people don't see, they don't miss, they don't miss an energy until it's gone, until they, another one, this is, this is not even family. This is somebody who is like, who see, now can see themselves settling down with you. You know, like a person who has, Scorpios are emotionally the smartest sign in the, in the zodiac. They can take some real dark occult stuff like they really can, right? So you all know I speak very highly of all zodiac signs. So it's nothing but love for every zodiac sign. Um, but now that people are, people are actually feeling your energy, Aquarius, that you are moving on with life. 
and you're doing it in such a peaceful way, they could be looking at you on social media, Aquarius, and figuring out like, wow, Aquarius really is moving on, like really is moving on with life. Like I, <laughs> you know, like a person just now, like it just clicked, like Aquarius is my one, like what the heck was I on that I missed that? So there's somebody, there's a possible love interest that really, you know, wants you to come back, you know, hoping that you were that person, like you are emotionally broken or emotionally at a place where you need, um, um, intimacy from them. Since we're talking about your sacral chakra, when we talk about water, like you need the sensuality from them, like you need them to make you laugh or be joyous or whatever. Sometimes people just have to find out the hard way about Aquarius. I mean, and I'm not saying that in a joking way at all. Like sometimes people have to figure out, find out that your heart is in the right place, Aquarius. But when you are done and you take that cup of water back or that goblet of water, since you're an air sign, but a water bearer, that it really is a wrap. I, I'm so happy for you all because it's the, the energy of peace over your cards, Aquarius, is just an understatement. You don't have any competition. You don't need to see anybody as competition. Don't ever feed into that kind of stuff where, oh, one person is better than another person or whatever the case may be. You are so content with just like, I'm closing out cycles in love and just doing my thing and moving forward. I'm not even getting caught up with all of that because there will be people who will try to put you against other people and try to tell you, oh yeah, you do better job than this person. You do a better job than that person or you better than my ex or you, you're a better employee. What? Don't even buy into all of that stuff because the same people that like to create that kind of chaos and confusion and drama, they like to just see how they can manipulate you like a puppet. Don't even buy into all of that. That is what I have for you all, Aquarius. Um, let's see if we got a number card and let's go ahead and close this out. But yeah, the piece that I'm seeing, you know, in your card is really just... Somebody really is now looking at you like, I, I, just, want, I just want you in my life. I, I want... <laughs> number eight i am successful because you are right so your talent for setting and reaching goals aquarius is like no other you are self-sufficient and you're capable of achieving your ambitions eight representing the ebb and flow the infinite loop of creation and this is why you are so at peace because that number eight is a money exchange number you are so at peace with that top window for the number eight you know you know the reason why you are here you see the vision for your life, right? That's that top window, that bottom window is, um, that bottom window is for your good product and services, you know, that you can provide, but turn to the side, you have an infinite amount of resources coming your way. That's why you're not stressing over your future. That's why you're not stressing over your future at all. Affirmations for courage. All things are working out in my favor. I have, I have the power to rebuild myself. I am not my circumstances. I rise regardless of my past. I honor myself through my actions. I honor my truth through my words. I am stronger than yesterday. That is what I have for you all, Aquarius. Thank you so much for joining me. Like I said before, somebody has just taken a quantum leap into their future and it looks amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Truly amazing. So there is no competition. None whatsoever. So that's what I have for you. And I will see you all on Freedom Friday. Yes, let's get ready for this new moon. So if you're watching this on the 12th or the 13th, the 13th is the last day. 14 kicks off a new one in new moon in, um, in uh, Virgo. Take advantage of it. Take advantage of this new you. Just take it all in. Take it all in. Take it all in. Take it all in. That is your time to just kind of relax your mind. Um, new moon energy, some of the things you can prepare for that is set your intentions for this, the new lunar cycle. You can reflect, you can, re you can write, you can journal, you can cleanse your space. You can, um, you know, do a cleansing salt bath. You can also ground yourselves. New moon energy can make some people feel more, even more anxious, agitated and, and, um, and tired, which is nature's way of just syncing you with the rhythms of the moon and an act of self-care. So you're coming out of one cycle, about to enter into another one. And I see success, 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 Aquarius. That's what I have for you. And I'll see you on Freedom Friday. Bye.